Lucene's transitive dependency CDF in Lucene. Uh, here you can see Lucene's transitive dependency CDF. Uh, let us attempt to uh, append an objective scoring of Lucene's structure. Its final revision examined here 5.0. Um, we shall use the average of four factors. This uh, first measures the Lucene attempt to limit number of dependencies that are possible to form. Second and third attempt to capture transitive dependency length and fourth attempt to capture the number of transitive dependencies. Uh, of course, large systems will uh, always have say more dependencies than small systems. We cannot say the system A is more well structured than system B simply because it has for fewer dependencies. Instead, we must derive a measurement that can be fairly compared by either normalizing for size or making the measurement in some sense self-referential. First, uh, we shall measure its absolute uh, ideal efficiency. This analysis analyzes the structure's potential coupling and basically asks how many methods are encapsulated away from other methods and thus how many dependencies could conceived by be created. If every method were put in one class, then every method would be visible to every other and so the efficiency would be 0%. The value rises, more methods are made uh, uh, private and put in separate packages, pri package private classes, thus increasingly encapsulation method from one another. The Lucene scores 44 uh, percent indicating that has at least uh, attempted to encapsulate this functionality, but more, much more could be done. Second, we shall measure the length of the Lucene's transitive dependencies in the form which shall uh, allow fair comparisons between programs. For this, we shall use CDF graph showing how long Lucene's transitive de method dependencies are at as a percentage of its longest transitive dependency. Uh, this figure here, we see that half of the Lucene transitive dependencies are shorter than uh, 45% uh, of the length of the longest transitive dependency. This is bad. Uh, systems resistance to ripple effect relies on most of its dependencies being short. Half of the JUnit transitive dependencies, for example, are not only 30% uh, of that length of, of its longest dependency. Uh, uh, as you require a figure that rises with improved structure, we shall use 100 minus this figure. So the Lucene will score 100 minus 44, 55 value, uh, uh, which could be closer to uh, 70. Uh, the third factor we shall use the uh, already has been discussed the, uh, the percentage of method that is spanned two packages of fewer uh, a figure around 75 percent uh, 75.5 percent this sound high but with modern structuring technique there is a little reason for this value to be less than 90. Finally we need the factor that measure how many dependencies uh, wiggle through a system. As a fewer number of dependencies, the better. To normalize for size, we would like to measure the number of method per dependencies per method. Uh, here we are. We must fortunately, unfortunately, estimate an industry lowest possible score. Some research suggests that 25 seems an appropriate figure. If the system contains more than 25 dependencies per method, then the the system structure is so bad that all other metrics lose their importance. We saw uh, uh, earlier that Lucene has huge 12 dependencies per method. So the figure we shall use is 25 minus 12, 13, expressed as percentage of 25, giving 52. Uh, as a figure, uh, this figure presented, the other systems reach as uh, low as 6 dependencies per method, a figure which yields 70% for this matrix. Uh, this gives the Lucene uh, the final score of uh, 
226.5 divided by 400 points uh, or 57% uh, with uh, firm structural principles. Modern program is a score 80% above, uh, uh, score above 80%. So this is poor score indicating a last a poor structure. Lucene find itself sec uh, second to last on the leaderboard of the system analysis so far in this series. Now, uh, this is the uh, end of my presentation. Thank you very much for watching it.